right, guys, I'm going to do a uh, follow up on AR 15 videos I've done. Well, one video I've done on it. A uh, guy I work with just bought his first AR. He got a uh, 6920. And uh, he's new to the AR platform. And he asked me to do a video on how I lubricate an AR. And I thought about just referring him to a, another video on YouTube because we all know there's, I don't know, there may be a thousand videos on how to lubricate your AR. I said, what the hell will one more hurt? I'll show him the way I do it, show everybody else the way I do it and what works for me. And uh, we'll go ahead and do it. First thing we're going to do, guys, make sure the rifle's clear. It's clear. Back take down pin. Bolt up. Put that back. Put this over here. We don't need this anymore. Alright, now we got our got our bolt assembly. I keep a long pinky fingernail for this very reason to get that cotter pin that retains the firing pin out. Drop the firing pin out, turn the cam pin, get it out, pull the bolt out, there you go. This rifle's not dirty, but I'm going to go through it as it if it was dirty. This is why I clean the bolt. I don't, I don't take brake cleaner to it. I don't use any solvent or anything like that. I wipe everything down. Just use an old rag. Depending on, depending on how many time, how many rounds I fired off, take the extractor out and clean everything down in there. But this one, it's not dirty at all. I'm just doing this to, to show my friend how I do it. Wipe the cam pin down. All right, this is important. Don't, I don't want you to put anything on your firing pin. Other, than, I just want you to wipe it down. Put it over here. That's all you're going to do to it. Um, the carrier, wipe it down. Get all the grime or anything might be on it off. Like I said, this is pretty easy because this this uh, bolt carrier is clean. It, it'll take a little more time if. Uh, it's dirty. But there we go. That's all I do to it, guys. I, I, I don't... I see a lot of people take brake cleaner to them. They soak them in kerosene. I'm curious what they do to them to get them that dirty. Maybe they got a lot more money than me. They can afford to shoot 6,000 rounds before they clean it up. And I wish I could afford to shoot that many rounds. But I can't. <laughs> so... Anyway, now we're going to lubricate it. This is what I use. If you've watched any of my videos before, I, I really like this stuff. Good stuff. I like it because it seems to hold up a lot better than regular CLP. It will hold down to minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to positive 1250 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's, that's pretty good stuff because... Uh, It'll hold, it'll hold up the heat without breaking down. And plus, if you're in minus 110 degrees, you're screwed. You're going to freeze to death. But, you know, if you're in minus 5 degrees, you do have that factor worrying about your, your gun freezing up. If you use this stuff, no worries, it won't freeze up. And it stays where you put it. I've noticed that. A lot of the walls, when you lube your bolt carrier, you get done. You put it in the, uh, in the safe, standing up right. Three months later, if you hadn't hadn't shot your rifle, you'd uh, disassemble the bolt, and this is dry. Everything's dry. All the all the oils run down through here, and it's all back in here where you don't, you know where it's not doing you any good. And this stuff seems to stay in place, so I like it. 
but I'm going to go ahead and get started lubricating it. I put about two drops here, smear it everywhere. Like I say, I've talked about this before, but do not put oil on your bolt face. Don't do it. Put about two drops on my gas rings. Make sure they get a good seal. Okay, smear that around there. That's done. Now I'll go to the. Uh, no, not going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and put the bolt back in. So you know your, your extractor faces to the right. <laughs> Line that hole up where your cam pin will go back in. Put a drop of oil on the cam pin. Well, if I can get it going. There you go. Smear it everywhere. Reinstall the cam pin. Turn it like that. Take your fire pin that we wiped down and we did not coat with oil. We just wiped it down. Reinstall it. Like so. Put your fire pin retainer back in. Like so. All right. Now it brings us to the outside of the assembly, to the carrier. There's only four bearing surfaces on this, which means there's a bearing surface, there's a bearing surface, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Uh, you don't need oil everywhere. You don't have to saturate it. So what I do is I take a cleaning patch and I put a little bit of oil on it. This is one of those areas where you want you want to use a light coat oil. You don't want to overdo it. And I'll just wipe the bearing surface with oil. Right there. Put a little bit right here. Right there. Right there. And right there. All right, you got it. I'm gonna get a little bit of excess right here. We can mark that off. The reason we don't want to saturate this and oil on the outside is it just attracts dust and dirt and things you don't want inside your rifle. Now we'll just reassemble it. Remember your uh, bolt has to be out to reassemble it. Do a function check, make sure everything's good. First, make sure the chamber's clear, of course. Pull the trigger, pull the bolt back, let it go. Hear the trigger reset, pull it, everything's good. Rifle's good to go. And that's, that's how you lubricate your AR, Chris. That's how you do it, buddy.